Life is a wine. Good morning, cuties. So today I wanted to share another what I ate in a day on low carb. And I wanted to share this with you because I'm trying a different recipe for breakfast. I'm always looking for new breakfast ideas. Um, so I found this on Skinny Taste and it is called High Protein Enchilada Scrambled Eggs. I think it looks delicious. I'm gonna try it. I don't know that I've ever had an enchilada, but I did buy the sauce and that's the red stuff that you see. Um, and this is scrambled egg plus one um, egg white. There's avocado on there, there's a little bit of cheese and green onion and the enchilada sauce, of course. So I'm gonna give this a try and I'll let you know how it tastes. Um, and this is, let's see, 270 calories. This is a big plate of food. It's covering up almost the whole dinner plate. So I'm excited to try that. And I also had a coffee this morning with the Chobani creamer. And that comes to 60 calories, or 62 really. So the total for my breakfast is 332. So stick around to see what I have for lunch. Today for lunch, I'm just having a little snack box. I like these because I can just kind of customize it with what I have or what I'm in the mood for. So this is what I have today. I have some pita thins, and for 11 of those, it's 130 calories. Over here are just some carrot sticks, some cucumber slices, which are my favorite to dip in my tzatziki sauce. I have about four tablespoons of this and it's only 70 calories. So it's gonna be really good dipped um, to use as a dip. And in this compartment, I just have some cashews, 100 calories worth. So the total for this lunch is 318 calories. And I think it's pretty balanced. I mean, normally I would probably put cheese in one of the compartments, but I didn't really have one that went with this kind of flavor profile. So this is what I'm having today. And I do have a video on my channel showing some other snack box ideas. So I am going to link that in the description in case you're interested, but this is mine for today, 318 calories for lunch. So stick around. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a snack today, um, or just go straight to dinner. So I hope you stick around. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm not really hungry since lunch, but I wanted to have just a little something. It's a horrible, damp, rainy day today. So I just have a cup of the sugar-free or no sugar added Swiss Miss hot cocoa. So I'm gonna just sit for a few minutes and drink this and stick around for my dinner. Here is my dinner. This looks absolutely delicious. So over here is just a pork tenderloin, a little um, pork chop with no bone in it. And this is roasted cauliflower. And I tried a different technique. I just used a bag of frozen cauliflower and roasted that up with some spices. So the cauliflower only comes to 81 calories. That's a really good deal for this big pile of cauliflower. I didn't add any oil, I just sprayed them with cooking spray. And the pork chop is 262 calories. And I bake that in the oven with some spices, basically. So this is my dinner and it comes to 343 calories. So stick around to see what I'm having for dessert. I'm gonna have a little dessert tonight, and I thought I'd try the Chobani Zero Sugar Milk and Cookies yogurt, and I had actually seen this on somebody else's haul, so I bought it and showed it in my own haul, if you remember, and I'll link that video below where I showed you my grocery haul. But as it says, zero sugar, there's 60 calories. Let me just show you what it is. Um, there's five carbs, so that's not too bad. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try. Let me open it and take a, a bite and I will tell you my opinion. So as you can see, I opened it, I just took a bite. And it's pretty good actually. 
it's not super sweet, so it doesn't have that very artificial kind of aftertaste to it. It um, has just the subtle kind of, I guess you could say Oreo cookie um, kind of feel to it or taste to it. Um, again, not super sweet, and I, I definitely get the tanginess of the Greek yogurt, but I don't mind that. So this is really a good little dessert. I think I'm gonna just squirt a little bit of Ready Whip on top, um, <laughs> just to kind of make it a little more dessert-like. But otherwise, for 60 calories, and it's, actually I didn't even check the protein. Let's check the protein. Um, let's see what it says there. Protein is 11. Wow, that's really good for a little cup of yogurt like that. So that makes me happy. So I'm just gonna squirt a little Ready Whip and finish this up for my dessert. And I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Um, as you know, I've been kind of doing them a lot lately. I think, I know I enjoy seeing other people and what they eat in a day, um, just to kind of get meal ideas or like snack ideas. And um, I give my opinion obviously on some of these snacks that I'm eating. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I can continue to do these type of videos. And also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And have a great night, everyone.